Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Game of Point. This is your host, Amog, and Xiaomi just released a new update for the global developer ROM, that is MIUI 8 6.12.8 Beta. And today, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features of this update, some improvements over the past ROMs, and I'll also tell you should you update it or not. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. Okay, so I just installed this ROM yesterday night on my Redmi Note 3. Actually, I didn't get it over the air. There was some issue with this updater app because I was not getting any update since last three weeks. So I went to the MIUI website and from there I installed this ROM manually. So if you want to know how you can install any MIUI ROM manually on your Xiaomi device, so do let me know. I'll make a separate video related to that. But for now, let's take a look at this update first. Here in the release note, it says fixed for the landscape mode issue with the third party themes. But apart from that, it didn't say anything. But I did find some new changes in this ROM. So I'll just show you that shortly. But before that, let's take a look at this about the device section first. Here the Android version is 6.0.1. The Android security patch level is of November 1st. So that's a good thing. At least we are getting latest security patch levels here. And the MIUI version is MIUI 8 Global 6.12.8 Beta. And if we take a look at the internal memory then as of now I have 4.64 GB available and before the update I was having something around 4.31 GB so slightly 200 to 300 MB has been added back and apart from that nothing has changed in the setting page also icons and everything looks same there's no major change I'm using a third party theme that is the Android N theme if you're interested in that you can install it from the theme store it's not a default theme and now let's take a look at the battery stats here on in the battery use here as you can see the battery right now is 46 percent and it says approximately nine hours are left and if you take a look at the detail info then i have charged my phone last night and since that i haven't charged yet and overall i have got decent amount of battery life the screen on time also is three hours 30 minutes so it's not that much bad it's okay for the normal use because i haven't used it like very hard for the gaming and purpose etc so my use since last night is pretty much normal so for that kind of use i have got three hours 30 minutes of screen on time and now let's talk about some of the new changes that has come inside of this update First is related to personal hotspots. So if you go into personal hotspots and then into connected devices, then here there's a new option called as limit for connected devices. So from here you can just simply select how many devices you want your phone to connect when your personal hotspot is turned on. So you can select unlimited or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 according to your need. Then the next change here is related to gallery. So if it go into the gallery and from here if you select any photo let's take an example of this photo and if you click on this edit button here and then if you go into this doodle then in this doodle option you will find this new two colors that is black and white earlier there were many colors but no black and white color was there or previously so it's not a major change i would say but still this is what the new update is about so they have added simply just two new colors that is black and white so you can draw doodles on the photo in this black color as well as in this white color so feels okay nothing like something great or extraordinary but still uh, this this is pretty a uh, welcome change in my opinion I feel the limit for personal hotspot was a great change because now you have control over the devices that you want to connect to your phone's hotspot so that's a great change in my opinion but apart from that nothing new or nothing new major changes has been added these are the two only changes that I have found so that's it and now let me show you some of the new improvements or you can say some new bug fixes in this updates and before you guys ask this is the new android n based launcher that i'm using in my redmi note 3 so this goes well completely with the android n theme so if you want to know how you can do the complete makeover of your and any xiaomi device so do let me know i'll make a separate video related to that and now let's take a look at the notification center here also nothing has changed everything looks fine and then in the setting page also as i just showed you the setting icons and everything looks as it was earlier and now let me show you one new improvement that I have found inside of this update. If you take a look at this new multitasking page, then now here, you, as you can see, the animation is slightly changed now. The animation to open the multitasking page is now improved and you can see now change. And this looks more cooler now. The animation is really much great compared to the last ROM. And that's a pretty much small change, but still I feel it's a great and welcome move in my opinion. And overall, I feel the response of this phone, the response of the touchscreen and overall the user interface is also slightly improved. And then here is the another change that is in the screenshot button. I don't know if it was before the update or not, but this is a slide three finger to take a screenshot option. So you can just simply slide three fingers on the phone's touchscreen and then you can just simply take a screenshot. So that's a better way in my opinion. I just slide three fingers and now it just took a screenshot. And I feel it's a great way to take a screenshot. 
and yes that's it these are the some changes that i have found inside of this new update so if you are running on a global beta rom then you should definitely update to this rom because you are getting a new android security patch level that is of november 1st then also some two or three changes in the phone settings so overall i feel it's a great update if you are running on a global beta rom then definitely update this and in case if you are not getting any update via this update or app over there then don't worry i'll make a separate video where i'll explain you how you can download and install any miui 8 rom on your xiaomi device manually so that you can also stay updated with some latest features so that's all for this video then thank you guys so much for watching if you do enjoy this video then i really appreciate it if you can click the like button below and also if you want to stay updated with all the upcoming miui 8 updates in the future for a particular xiaomi device whether it's based on android 6.0 or android 7.0 then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so that's all for this video then this is your host amok signing off until then i'll see you in my next video bye bye and take care